Okay. I turned off the recording and started it again. So I can get a new file. I need to swap over to my other hand. This hand is just too cramped up now. So uh, I'm just going to do this and make a lot of noise. I'm not making lots of noise. Probably about there. I'm about three quarters done on my walk now. There's only half. This one goes by the uh, choice school on this side. Choice is a uh, it's a voluntary school thing. You can drop out of regular school to go to choice if you're having problems with normal school. And so even though it's a really good idea, largely what you get are uh, the very troubled and challenged students, which I'm very glad that they have an opportunity to finish school because you have the troubled and problem youth like all the uh, young pregnant teens and those who have been uh, struggling with drug addiction and struggling with uh, you know, um, behavioral problems, such like that. And so it's really cool that they have an opportunity to actually get an education so that they can make themselves into something as they get older, instead of just being trapped and stuck. I think that's very awesome. Oh, my back really hurts, so I'm going to be pretty glad to get back. And like I say, though, my walk's only about half done. I still have a huge loop to make once I get up closer to my home. Because it's a good five to seven miles I walk every single night. And this is my full walk. You're just not seeing various parts of it. And, again, you're seeing it when I like the, oh my gosh, they actually covered that. It used to be just a drop. Huh. Yeah, this is the place I go. Wow, they've really fixed that. That's amazing. It used to be a several step drop. It was quite a, almost dangerous. It's kind of cool that they did fix that. I need to keep my flashlight on. I keep flicking it off for some unknown reason. Oh, my right hand. No, left hand. So cramped. Oh well. I do it for my fans. I do it for the future. I do it for the gold. I sure don't do it for the nookie. I'm trying to make a limp biz kit reference there. I do it for the, the nookie, the nookie, so let me get that cookie in, I don't know how the hell the rest of that song goes really, okay, here's where we cross, and I keep the flashlight on definitely, because that's a big old road, that's a big old road, I do not want to get hit, it's kind of cool, I don't know if they're renting in a room, or the whole house here. It's a huge house. Really cool. It's too bad I can't rent from any company ever again. Thanks to Wells Fargo. Because I was evicted from my home, no place will ever rent to me because you have to get insurance. They have to insure you. And when they look into your record and see evicted, even though in my case, I was evicted because when my wife died, my house payments were suddenly more than my disability. So that was fun. 
but because of that, <coughs> whenever they look, they see evicted, and so no insurance company will ever cover me because, oh, I'm high risk. I was evicted once, I might be evicted again. Well, yeah, I was evicted once because my wife died. I'm not going to get evicted again for that reason. Can't just bring her back to life and kill her again. Not that I killed her in the first place, really. I didn't mean to say that. This is not admissible in a court of law. I didn't admit to anything. It was just a, a figure of speech. Yeah. Edward Jones, investments. Also, Thai and Swedish massage. It's a local tourist attraction. Now, this place at the base of the hill that I didn't talk about the other day is really kind of a bizarre situation. It used to be a funeral home and they used to do cremations there. But they moved like across the street when the new facility. And so what were they gonna do with the old place where they used to like burn bodies? Well, they rented out the top half of the building for like 1700 bucks for a four bedroom upper story place. And then the bottom half of the building has become an art gallery. How about that? We're coming up on it now. It's right next to the dentist's office. This is the dentist's office. It's a local tourist attraction. See, it's even got a sidewalk. This is the building here. It was a crematorium and funeral home and is now both apartments up above and an art gallery. Though, I don't know about art gallery. Even though it says visit an art gallery and it's all sorts of art-y looking. Kind of. I wouldn't say, it. to me it looks more like one of those thrift shops where people who are like homeless sell everything, you know, and then that's what they, they sell. Because look at this, some of this weird stuff, it's like, what is that, Jabba the poorly made, I don't know, it's pretty weird. Man, my camera is almost dead. I'm actually going to turn it off at this point because it's just a walk up the hill and I want you to see the areas that I haven't been to yet and I'm coming up on camera death here. So I'm going to stop recording and turn off the camera until I get to the next place. So you take care and I'll talk to you all in a bit. Earlier when I had said that I was on the corner of Turner and 7th Ash, it was on the corner of Turner and 10th. This is the corner of Turner and 7th, and I'm going up that, and then I'm going to go up Euclid, and then I'm going to get to my home, because I'm not sure if the battery is going to last for a full, normal trip. So I'm just going to come up here, and then head up to my home. Now, I just wanted to say real quick while I'm walking along this way, I have one commenter who was giving me one heck of a hard time, because not only was my room... You know, I live in clutter. I live in organized chaos. I know this. I'm not a tidy person, but I'm not a pig either. I'm in the middle where I live in clutter. But I'm one of those people that you say, oh, do you have this? And I go, oh, yeah. And then I go over to, like, one of the indistinguishable piles of something and then can pull out exactly what you want because I know exactly where it is. It's all organized chaos. It's an actual method. And so I don't leave it in a pig mess. Now outside of my room that I'm renting is the outside of that place. Now I rent part of the garage from my in-laws. I don't rent any other part of the house. I have use of their bathroom and use of their kitchen. And when I use either of those, I clean up after myself. 
Now, the people that live in the house are my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, both of which, oh, the light went out, both of which are younger than I am. I am the oldest person that lives there, and I have fibromyalgia, back injury, gout, you know, uh, carpal tunnel. I'm a mess. I can't lift over 15 pounds without intense pain. And if I even take a shower, standing in place destroys me. And so if I take a shower, it wipes me out for a full day. I can walk. And I can walk for hours. And my back is okay with that. Hurts a lot right now. But better than it has been. And so I'm the oldest person that lives there. My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, again, being quite younger than I am. Both of my children live there. And my children are both 12 and 14. And while my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's two children don't live there, they visit all the time. They come over, they have dinner, they spend evenings. You know, out of a seven-day week, the my nephew and my niece are there a good four out of seven days. Now, I have cleaned up outside there. And I had it looking real nice. And you see what it looks like now. That is because no matter what I may do, I am the only one in the house that would be cleaning up that area. Because I've done it and cleaned up. And you've seen what it looks like now. My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law have both had their mother-in-law, who's in her 70s, come down. And she has cleaned up their house for them more times than I can count. Back when the niece and the nephew both lived there. So she was near her 70s and was cleaning up the entire house when four children who were fully capable of cleaning up lived there. And of course, brother-in-law and sister-in-law both capable of taking care of their house. And they had to have their mother-in-law come in and clean it up for them. And of course they messed it up as she was cleaning it. Same thing. Even as I clean it, it gets messed. It is not my responsibility to clean up a four-person household when I have got my own problems and I've got my own room to take care of. I try. I'm a very kind and generous person, and I do clean up, and I help, and I do a ton of things around the house. But from the way this commenter is treating me, because I am not going forth and helping and doing everything for this six-person household, that I am lazy and terrible, and a leech as well. Because at the end of his little tirade about how I'm a bad person because I'm not cleaning up out to the six-family household. He just started just directly making fun of handicapped people and myself for being handicapped. So we can tell where this person's uh, kindness and humanity is on the whole kindness and humanity meter. Barely registers as human, I would think, at that point. When you start making fun of handicapped people for being handicapped, You've kind of, uh, at least momentarily, handed in your I'm a human being card and traded that in for I am a monster card. Here we come. Up on the end of Euclid. I'm going to walk into my room, I hope, and show you the walk, not the watch on the wall, the clock on the wall, to show you how long my little walk took. Oh, I know it's so dark. And I know this, I wish this camera would work better. Hopefully I can fix up a lot of the way it looks in post. And I certainly hope the camera's gonna live long enough for me to uh, record the, the walk, not the watch, I keep wanting to say that, the clock on the wall. Now I gotta be careful because of that spider that was on the fence. I don't wanna get tangled up in the spider thing and get grossed out and horrified and have all my hair stand up, but nor do I want to mess up that spider's day by tearing apart its web. Which, I mean, I tear apart webs all the time. 
to move a spider if I need to. It's just I don't know that I need to yet. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> yep, again, look at all this all over the ground. And look at that there. I don't rent the uh, all this out here. This is not my home. I rent a part of the garage. Here we go, is that spider there? Can't tell. Well, hopefully if the spider is there, I'm not busting up its web too much. And hopefully it's not going to attack my face. There we go. Down this way. Yep, again, you know, this is a four-person household of which my brother-in-law and sister-in-law are both younger than me, and my two children are younger than me, and my brother-in-law's children, who come visit four nights out of seven, well younger than me, and uh, I have cleaned up my area. This all is the rest of the house. But here we go. We're gonna go inside, past my insect netting with the huge gaping hole in it. I'm rather irritated about that, but what can you do? And it is 10 to 3. So, son of a gun. Thank you very much. Hopefully, this is all going to come out well. So, you take care, and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you, my friends. Indeed. Thank you very much. You take care. Have a great day. I don't know how well you can see me. Ah, oh, well, I've got this centered. But you take care and have a great day today. I can figure out how to turn this off.